Hey guys, um, so I'm on my way to Toronto and um, so my flight is by 7 um, a.m. and it's currently like 5 so um, I think I'm late but I'm not supposed to be late but yeah I'm kind of like rushing to the airport so I might not like do like a lot of content related stuff as far as like going to whatever whatever but yeah I'm going to Toronto and join me on my trip to Toronto connecting flights i'm going to detroit first then from detroit i'll take another flight to toronto um i'm quite early i didn't even think about it because normally you know like if you're using a local flight just come one hour before but i thought it was international so i came like two hours before and everything so i'm just i have like an hour before boarding so i'm just here waiting and all that so um yeah Pretty much, I'm excited for my trip to Toronto, and I think maybe in that hour I'll just use it to like maybe go around the airport or something. It's just that I have like my luggage with me, like I have my backpack with me, and I have like my bags and everything with me. So yeah, pretty much that's what's up. But yeah, um, I will see you guys later and keep you guys posted. Bye. Let's just take it slowly, losing all the time. I didn't go. a tour of uh, my hotel room so it's actually not like so serious or anything i don't even know how to turn on the lights let me see but yeah this is my room it's nothing serious it's quite basic and 
I mean, I paid for like the deluxe or something like that, the King Deluxe. But yeah, this is what I got. I am quite high up. It has like a chair and um, a love seat. And it actually has, I don't know if I should call this a, <laughs> a nice view or something like that. I don't want to open it though. Okay, you know what? Uh, you know what? Let me just let it go. But yeah, it has um, sort of like some sort of view or something like that. And this is pretty much it. That's still like my suitcases and all this stuff. So yeah, this is me. <laughs> and the bathroom let's let's see what's here oh yeah this is the closet yeah the bathroom bathroom is actually just like basic like nothing special and all that and i hate that it has a bathtub i was expecting like a shower or something like that but it's all good yeah it's i mean it's nothing serious or anything like that it's just like a basic hotel room and i have another mirror here for like dressing up or something like that so yeah and this is me this is my outfit and this is like what i wore to travel i wore my Max, my what are they calling this stuff? <laughs> my leggings and my top. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And this is for me signing up. I'm pretty much very hungry. So I'm going to look for something to eat in Toronto before my friend comes. And right now I'm at Chop Stay House. So yeah, let's see what it is. Are you serious? Oh my god. Anyways, I'm finally seeing the Oyenka. It is nice. Like, it is. This is the pool. I think that there's a ride stuff. There's a water slide and there's a pool. I brought trunk. Yeah, for swimming. Oyenkos. What do you have to say? Can you imagine? And it's always me behind the camera. Mm -hmm. the other way. Well, um, I just want to say that um, you guys should please subscribe to Oriva's channel. Yes, please. Like this video, share, you know, do a little bit of whole shebang. And yeah, we hope to give you premium content in Canada. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> afraid to love, not afraid to love. Yo, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to love. Not afraid to love. Yo. Like a mad person right now, <laughs> but it's alright. They shall understand. You understand That's Geneva. I haven't seen Geneva since 2014. It's been so long. I left everybody here. Yeah, I know. 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 Y
My girls are taking me out. Wenka and Jennifer. Yeah, so we're gonna have fun and y'all will see the videos. Bye. Anything to get back my feet. having fun and we are currently having is this brunch or what's this called Probably dinner, dinner yeah. by 4 p.m <laughs> we're having an almost early five. dinner <laughs> yeah almost five yeah so i'll catch you guys later and i hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs>
the pool going to swim and have some soil time in a pool and yeah. in the slide as well so i will see you guys later later, later. Uh, We're going back to our room to clean up, have a bath, have a bath, <laughs> and get ready for the day. Toronto, right now. I
do that. Very good looking as well. Thank you to the person in the front row <laughs> who, who reminded me to mention that. Uh, Captain Liam's going to be uh, navigating us through the uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> but behind is the water fountain, which is lined with lots of nice uh, cafes, restaurants, boats. It's a very nice place to go for a walk on a sunny day. But for a very long time, the waterfront was actually a notoriously disgusting place to be in Toronto. That's because Toronto was an industrial port up until the 70s. And then you would come here and you'd find lots of warehouses and factories, some uh, slaughterhouses, some coal burning facilities. Not a very nice place to be in Toronto. But the airport island is actually going to be man made out here. The islands are a series of constant. Not native at all to Canada. We got them in a trade we did with Britain where we exchanged our national birds, which, if you're familiar with the Canada's national bird, is a very bad trade for Britain. It's uh, popular because it's one of Canada's only clothing optional beaches. You can see here on your right, people are still out there after their professions. So for example, there's a boat called Turbulence owned by a pilot, a boat called Stress Free owned by a divorce attorney. There's a boat owned by a couple, so it's a therapist and a proctologist, and their boat is called Heads or Tails. Now if you look up on your right, uh, Captain Lima says that for a really gorgeous skyline view of Toronto, it's named after the uh, Ned Hanlon. <laughs> he was the son of the Hanlon family, and he's pretty notable in his own right. He was the uh, first famous Canadian sports superstar, really. He was an Olympic rower. Um, before that, though, he was a drug and alcohol smuggler from the city to the islands. He was chased out to the States, and uh, we only welcomed him back once he won a bunch of gold medals in Philadelphia. We dropped all the charges after that because we were so proud to have a Canadian uh, Olympian. But Ned Hanlon, actually, we have to thank for the rowers finding seats. So before him, rowers who sat there. I think she knows that she does some crazy when she's